Welcome to Geotech Electrical Contractors Limited YouTube channel. Hello guys. Uh, if you did not manage to watch our previous video, kindly go and watch. It was uh, about how to make a percussion from KPLC step by step. We managed to look how to make a percussion uh, for electricity that is new connection meters or meter separation and uh, additional road whereby uh, one needs more meter or one needs to upgrade from single phase to three phase in our today's video like i promised i'm going to show you how to fill kplc and coil form step by step not everybody who if given a kplc in coil form can be able to fill it correctly we all know we need electricity like i explained in our previous video so in our today's video i'm going to show you how to fill kplc and coil form step by step just like i did on our previous video if you are there and you haven't subscribed to our channel yo what are you waiting for kindly hit that subscription button and also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that every time we upload a new video you can be the first to watch uh, if you are here and uh, you are a returning subscriber we thank you for your patronage. If you are new here, uh, my name is Chuatek and I do content regarding electrical and electronic engineering whereby we review all KPC prepaid and postpaid meters. We look all new KPC prepaid meters uh, on how to activate them. So in our previous videos, we have done many videos uh, explaining or showing how to activate different models of KPLC prepaid meters. We also do content uh, regarding uh, how to grammar one's house in a spectacular man who shows clients how all the best electrical fittings electrical writings they can choose for the uh, mansions apartments name them we also show them how to go for the best quality when it comes to cables or electrical wires and electrical fittings we are located along the car road so if you'd like to hire us you can contact us visit us and i'm going to share our contact here and in our description uh, and also i'm going to share our email you can contact us and we will be honored to serve you as our client. So, uh, without further ado, allow me to show you how to fill KPLC and coil form step by step. Just in case you find a challenge while filling the form, call us, we are going to direct you. And if you are there and you don't want those hazards of making a partition, Feel free to reach out to us and we are going to apply electricity, meters and even additional load for you. We will do it from application until your job's completion. Contact us today and we assure you we follow all the legitimate channels to make sure that 
your job is done and done within the shortest time possible uh, yes uh, first things first and like I said in our previous video you can um, pick this form either from your nearest KPLC office Huduma Center or from a cyber cafe yeah once you get the form uh, you start filling I'm going to show you how to fill it uh, and uh, we start by as you can see in our video uh, this form this form is not for sale uh, and query for supply of electricity uh, and if you uh, uh, as you can see there is a uh, somewhere no written date and uh, customer application number so you can like the date your price uh, or you need the inquiry then for customer application number uh, this will be written by KPLC staff uh, yeah the, 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 this is how they do uh, you can light it by yourself but there is no way a reference number or application number uh, can come out before you make the application so what uh, you do is that once you give them um, this form uh, together with the uh, attached documents like I explained uh, they will go through your documents making sure that there is no document you have left or you have not attached uh, to the inquiry uh, form once they confirm you have everything needed for application then they'll give out a reference number it can be a, a reference number reta e which is for new connection uh, they can also give you uh, a which means it's for additional road uh, or m for meter separation this should depend uh, how you have filled your form if you wanted uh, to do or if you are doing a petition for uh, new application or new connection you'll be given e uh, reference e then the number follows uh, if you did for meter separation you'll be given m and if it's for the additional load you'll be given a as your reference number so we start by filling our form we fill the, the date i have said for the customer application number they will fill it for you uh, after uh, filling the date that you're applying the electricity or you're making the application below there is a, a type of application type of application as number one and you are required to tick where applicable so ticking where applicable we start by premium application into bracket above 25 kva this is premium and then we have standard application which is below 25 kva i said this is what uh, many customers apply 
below 25 kVA. So uh, in my form or in this form that uh, we are filling today, uh, uh, I'll be doing or I'll be filling like a new uh, customer who is applying for new electricity. So I'll take a uh, standard application which is below 25 kVA. Then uh, below I continue uh, filling with you together. Yeah, I have ticked standard application fee. Then um, there is this area uh, you are supposed to fill whether it is new type of application that is whether it is new reducing meter separation additional room. Mine is new, so I'm going to take new. Below the new, there is temporary group application account number account number. I have said mine is all we are filling this form as a new customer so we are going to tick new below there is another blank space I'm going to fill it uh, I'm, I'm assuming I need 20 pieces of prepaid meters so I'll fill 20 prepaid meters I have to specify I need prepaid there are people who insist on postpaid. Uh, so if you need a postpaid, you'll feel uh, postpaid. Uh, but if you need prepaid, for my case, I need prepaid meters. So I'm going to fill 20 prepaid meters like I have filled there. And then uh, number two is applicant's data. Surname, first name, middle name. I start by filling my surname, which is Wanyange. Yeah. Then my first name is John. Yeah. And my middle name. Middle name will be Nguru. Right. So Wanyange John Guru. We have filled that. Uh huh. Confirm your names. I'll collect. Then uh, I'll fill my ID number. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I'm assuming that is my ID number. If you don't have an ID number, you can fill passport number. County of Residence, uh, Nairobi. Yeah, I'll fill Nairobi. There we go. PO box or postal code. Uh, I'll just fill not applicable. Uh, Okay, so and stop here. <clears throat> Town of residence. I would feel um, uh, well, uh, you must be knowing your administration very well. I mean, uh, from subrogation to uh, county which used to be a province uh, so i have filled county and uh, town of residence kasarani and then i'll fill my number mobile number uh, or telephone number so i'll fill my uh, my my mobile number which is zero seven yeah there we go done uh, then I can fill an office number if you have that is if you don't have you can uh, see it is not applicable you can fill any so for my case I have an office number uh, 0734 there you go yeah
there we go done so you have to confirm your both numbers are okay that is your mobile number uh, office mobile number office telephone number if you confirm and they are okay then you, we proceed uh, customer email address if you have you can fill if you don't have don't have to fill so uh, mine is Joate uh, contractors uh, so there you go Joatech contractors at gmail.com Joatech contractors at gmail.com remember we are still in number two in the form eh? that is applicants data so customers contact person a self I'm the one who is applying so I'm going to take self all right yeah then I can write my name as uh, John Guru Wanyange okay there we go John uh, Guru Wanyange then I also write my mobile number below the name zero seven five four yeah you there you see it there you can just click what is popping down um, hmm. then we go to the third part which is number three and uh, it is uh, number three is supply location data you must be conversant like I said with your administration okay because if you don't know where you live or your administration it will give you a hand time so there we go uh, my county is Nairobi okay My district is Kasarani. Mm -hmm. Then I have division. Uh, for division, I feel I'll just feel Kasarani, okay? But I have to insist you must be conversant with your administration. Uh, so, my case, I have few district is Kasarani, and then division also Kasarani. Subrocution, I'm going to feel. Um, I'll feel the same. Kasarani. The street will be off. Moiki load. Okay. So you must, and I insist, you must be conversant with your location so that you don't go long and for those who are feeling and they're in Kasarani you don't have to rely with mine just do your do your own research uh, and uh, get to know your administration well so village I'll fill seasons okay then we have name stroke house number if your house has a name you can fill but if the house is still new obviously it is not or it doesn't have a, a name 
uh, sometimes you can find uh, some houses also have numbers if it has a number you can fill if it has a name you can fill the name or both then the next is l l number or plot number this is very important eh? because this is what you're also going to find on your blood ownership certificate so you must fill it so have filled one two three four okay we go to the number four number four uh also very important part it is it is about it is about appearances okay so we have a a a is fixed appearances the cooker cookers heaters air conditioners fridges ovens etc uh, if your house is a mansion or it is a residential uh, house whereby um, uses all these or you have any of these you can fill if it is all of them or if you have one two or three you are required to fill So in my form, uh, I'll fill uh, cooker, and there we go. Uh, how many? I applied for twenty meters. So uh, for my case, this is a residential uh, apartment or lento houses, which are one two bedroom units so i applied for 20 so uh in every house or in every unit there is one cooker or one heater that's why i have said one times 20 units and each if it is uh for example uh, a fridge each is either fridge or oven or maybe two uh, if you do your calculation you should come up with um, whether it is what or kilowatts so in my in my case minus 1500 so you multiply 1500 by 20 to give you that 1000 eh? all right so this is uh, Part four, uh, A. And there we go. That here. So once we are done with uh, A, we go to B. B is points of socket. Okay. B is points uh, or socket outlet. So socket outlets in every house you must calculate. Uh, every unit maybe has three four sockets or two depending on the size of the unit on the house uh, so my houses are 20 units and um, in every house has two pieces of uh, power outlets or sockets which are in total they are 40 all right 40 there we go uh, forty. then uh, we go to C okay uh, and before you go to c uh, b the normal socket has that in ampere's okay so if yours has 15 or 20 you should remember to calculate them the number of power outlets if it is 15 amps or 20 amps i have filled mine is that this is an ordinary socket 13 amperes so c we have motors if you have motors like for example uh, maybe you need to apply one two three 
three phase uh, meters because you have a three phase motor it can be a borehole pump uh, you know uh, or maybe you have uh, some business rooms and uh, those business rooms uh, you intend to give them enough power so that if someone come on come with maybe a grinding machine uh, for three phase uh, the power will be enough for the machine so um in my case i have fueled uh, i have no motor and uh, honestly i fueled 20 single fist prepared meters so if you look see you are required to this is motors number and then faces if for example he had uh, a grinding or maybe a borehole machine and that is a borehole if we had a borehole pump which is a uh, three phase motor i could have filled uh, one and then three phase so and then you have to fill the horsepower or kva okay if it is rated in horsepower or kilovolt or kva then you're supposed to fill purpose for uh, for which required I have said if it was for borehole you have to say it is for borehole pump then we go for lights uh, which are uh, which are bulbs the number of bulbs you have in every house or in every unit so mine I have four and my our, my units are 20 so lighting points are 4 by 20 if you should give me 80 if you have um, uh, other apparatus you can specify on E so we have we are done with A B C D which is lighting points E is other apparatus and if you feel that these four not enough to fill uh, uh, you know uh, to fill uh, appliances then you are required to attach it is written here you're supposed to attach please attach a separate list if uh, if if please attach um, please attach a separate list if the above space is not adequate then we go to the next page the next page uh, which is number five uh, is we leave approval uh, for number five you have to declare like i john nguru wanyange being the proprietor of parcel of rad comprised in title number i have to write the l uh, l l number i'll have to write the title number uh, mine is one two three uh, i'll fill it i'll fill and um, there we go uh, So number five, uh, uh, I John Guru Wanyange, being the proprietor of parcel of rad comprised in title number half like the title number, which is mine is one two three four. Hereby consent to the Kenya Power Ring on electing an electric supply line on my side of land and from time to time entering upon and having access to my said piece of land for the purposes of constructing, laying, maintaining, using, removing, and replacing the electric supply supply line. I undertake 
not to interfere or permit any interference with the electric supply line, not to construct buildings, plant trees, or dump waste materials beneath the electric supply line. I also undertake that this consent shall be irrevocable. I have supplied copies of title deed and large such documents as proof of ownership signed by proprietor so john then i have to lay the date so you have to declare um uh for this reason is each and every citizen uh, you're supposed to give away leave uh, as far as you one day or you want to be connected with electricity mm -hmm. You have to give away leave for you uh, to be connected with the electricity or even your neighbor. Okay? Uh, we talk about this uh, uh, in maybe in future videos. How one is supposed to surrender all, give away leave. And if you don't do so, then there is a point when you will be requiring the electricity then the Kenya power will not consider you. And if you lead here, uh, 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 there is this, <laughs> there is this uh, statement that says that uh, you undertake the consent. You undertake, I mean, I also undertake that this consent shall be irrevocable. You cannot revoke it. I mean, you cannot, uh, like, uh, terminate the agreement. So after that, uh, we sign and we lay the date. Then we go to, we are through with uh, filling, but uh, uh, before that, you are supposed to, I mean, before you give out the form, you are supposed to checklist your document. Uh, and here it is written, uh, it is written, uh, customer checklist. Please attach the following documents when submitting this form. You're supposed to attach copy of PIN, of I mean copy of ID, copy of PIN certificate, loot sketch map, uh, reading to where the supply is required. You also to check copy of title deed and large such documents for owner. All property to support Willie's consent. And then you're also supposed to, um, in my previous video, explained when you are required to attach separate contract form uh, signed for uh, individual and for company. You're supposed to stamp. You suppose stamp is more important. When it comes to corporate or company application then we have wearing certificate these are documents that you're supposed to attach when you'll be forwarding a supply contract form so for our case we need to counter check all we need to check list copy of id copy of pin certificate which is kra uh, sketch map copy of uh, rad owner certificate then for here, uh, for meter separation and additional road applicant, you're supposed to attach. You're supposed to attach copy of latest electricity bill. Okay, for additional requirements for premium applicant, uh, school site plan preferably a soft copy AutoCAD DWG format. Road, load schedule details. If you are doing meter separation, um, you can uh, you can um, either you realize that if you are supplied with uh, prepaid meters and you are doing meter separation, this means you are you are adding maybe three, four, five, six meters uh, in your premise. Uh, uh, you are not necessarily supposed to touch the copy of latest electricity bill because you have a prepaid. What you're supposed to do is to uh, 
have one meter number or one account number uh, of the meters in the premise. Uh, this will help them to maybe know if you have a real, you have a bill uh, uh, that uh, that is not paid, you will pay. Okay before you are given the reference number if the meters that you are using at uh, uh, your premise or uh, uh, you know are postpaid meters then uh, you're supposed to you may not have a copy of electricity bill uh, but if you have a kplc self-service app which is my power you can be able to go there and check if you have a bill and if you can be able to print out uh, uh, the image showing your account and that you don't have arrears, it can be better to attach with this form. Uh -huh. So from there, we have applicant's signature. Uh, since you're the one who applied, you're supposed to sign here. Like, yeah, I'm going to sign as John. Then I have to indicate the date. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. So uh, the, 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 the last part is for fish use only. This is power data. This will be filled by KPLC staff. So we are done filling the form. So yeah, after filling the form and attaching attaching with the uh, required documents, then you are supposed to drop it at your nearest KPLC office. Okay, and then you will be given the reference number. In our previous video, we have explained everything uh, that follows after application so be sure to check it out uh, for you to understand thank you for watching our video for today and uh, if you haven't subscribed to our channel kindly subscribe to our channel hit that subscription button hit the notification bell and we say asante sana